The Adventures of Tom Bombadil From J.R.R. Tolkien's The Adventures of Tom Bombadil Old Tom Bombadil was a merry fellow Bright blue his jacket was, and his boots were yellow Green were his girdle, and his breeches all of leather He wore in his tall hat a swan wing feather he lived up under hill, where the withy windle ran from a grassy well down into the dingle. Old Tom in summertime walked about the meadows, gathering the buttercups, running after shadows, tickling the bumblebees that buzzed among the flowers, sitting by the waterside for hours upon hours. There his beard dangled long down into the water. Up came Goldberry, the river woman's daughter. Pulled Tom's hanging hair, in he went to wallowing, under the water lilies, bubbling and a-swallowing. Hey, Tom Bombadil, whither are you going? Said fair Goldberry, bubbles you are blowing, frightening the finny fish, and the brown wattle rat, startling the dab chicks and drowning your feather hat. You bring it back again, there's a pretty maiden, said Tom Bombadil, I do not care for waiting. Go down, sleep again, where the pools are shady, far below the willow roots, little water lady. Back to her mother's house in the deepest hollow, Swam young Goldberry, but Tom he would not follow. On knotted willow roots he sat in sunny weather, drying his yellow boots and his draggled feather. Up woke Willow Man, began upon his singing, sang Tom fast asleep under branches swinging, and a crack caught him tight, snick, it closed together trapped Tom Bombadil, coat and hat and feather. Ha, Tom Bombadil, what be you a-thinking, peeping inside my tree, watching me a-drinking, deep in my wooden house, tickling me with feather, dripping wet down my face like a rainy weather. You let me out again, old man Willow. I am stiff lying here. There's no sort of pillow. Your hard, crooked roots, drink your river water. Go back to sleep again, like the river daughter. Willow man let him loose when he heard him speaking. Lock fast his wooden house, muttering and creaking. Whispering inside the tree, out from Willow Dingle, Tom went walking on up the withy window. Under the forest eaves he sat a while a-listening. On the boughs piping birds were chirruping and whistling. Butterflies about his head went quivering and winking until great clouds came up as the sun was sinking. Then Tom hurried on. Rain began to shiver, round rings spattering in the running river. A wind blew, shaken leaves, chilly drops were dripping. Into a sheltering hole, old Tom went skipping. Out came Badger Brock with his snowy forehead and his dark blinking eyes in the hill he quarried. With his wife and many sons, by the coat they caught him, pulled him inside their earth, down their tunnels brought him. Inside their secret house, there they sat a mumbling, Ho, oh, Tom Bombadil, where have you come tumbling? Bursting in our front door, badger folk have caught you. You'll never find it out, the way that we have brought you. Now, old badger Brock, do you hear me talking? You show me out at once, I must be a-walking. Show me to your back door, 
under briar roses, then clean grimy paws, wipe your earthly noses, go back to sleep again on your straw pillow, like fair goldberry and old man willow. Then all the badger folk said, we beg your pardon. They showed Tom out again to their thorny garden, went back and hid themselves, a shivering and a shaking, blocked up all their doors, earth together raking. Rain had passed, the sky was clear, and in the summer gloaming, old Tom Bombadil laughed as he came homing, unlocked his door again, and opened up a shutter. In the kitchen, round the lamp, moths began to flutter. Tom through the window saw waking stars come winking, and the new slender moon early westward sinking. Dark came under hill, Tom he lit a candle, upstairs creaking went, turned the door handle. Who, Tom Bombadil, look what night has brought you, I'm here behind the door, now at last I've caught you. You'd forgotten Barrow White, dwelling in the old mound, up there on hilltop, with the ring of stones round. He's got loose again, under earth he'll take you. Poor Tom Bombadil, pale and cold he'll make you. Go out, shut the door, and never come back after. Take away gleaming eyes, take your hollow laughter. Go back to grassy mound, on your stony pillow, lay down your bony head, like old man willow, like young goldberry and badger folk and burrow, go back to buried gold and forgotten sorrow. Out fled Barrow White, through the window leaping, through the yard, over wall, like a shadow sweeping, uphill wailing went, back to leaning stone rings, back under lonely mound, rattling his bone ring. Old Tom Bombadil lay upon his pillow, sweeter than Goldberry, quieter than the willow, snugger than the badger folk, or the barrow dwellers, slept like a humming top, snored like a bellows. He woke in morning light, whistled like a starling, sang, Come Dairy Doll, Merry Doll, my darling. He clapped on his battered hat, boots and coat and feather, opened the window wide to the sunny weather. Wise old Bombadil, he was a wary fellow. Bright blue his jacket was, and his boots were yellow. None ever caught old Tom, an upland or in dingle, walking the forest paths or by the withy window or out on the lily pools, and boat upon the water. But one day Tom he went, and caught the river daughter, in green gown flowing hair, sitting in the rushes, singing old water songs to birds upon the bushes. He caught her, held her fast, water rats went scuttering, reeds hissed, herons cried, and her heart was fluttering. Said Tom Bombadil, Here's my pretty maiden. You shall come home with me. The table is all laden. Yellow cream, honeycomb, white bread and butter. Roses at the window sill and peeping round the shutter. You shall come under hill. Never mind your mother. In her deep weedy pool, there you'll find no lover. Old Tom Bombadil had a merry wedding, crowned all with buttercups, hat and feather shedding. His bride with forget-me-nots and flag lilies for garland was robed all in silver green. He sang like a starling, hummed like a honeybee, lilted to the fiddle, 
clasping his river maid round her slender middle. Lamps gleamed within his house, and white was the bedding. In the bright honeymoon, badger folk came treading, danced down under hill, and old man Willow tapped, tapped at window pane as they slept on the pillow. On the banks in the reeds, river woman crying, hurled old barrel white and his mound sighing. Old Tom Bombadil heeded not the voices, taps, knocks, dancing feet, all the nightly noises, slept till the sun arose, then sang like a starling. Hey come, dairy doll, merry doll, my darling, sitting on the doorstep, chopping sticks of willow, while fair goldberry combed her tresses yellow. The Adventures of Tom Bombadil. Good night, Fletcher. Sweet dreams. <laughs>